So we got Logic track list for his upcoming album, The Incredible True Story. And as you see, the first nine tracks featuring Big Limbo, Lucy Rose, you know, Contact, Fade Away, Upgrade, White People, Like Whoa, Young Jesus, Intermission, I Am The Greatest, The Cube. You know, it looks promising, though, you dig? It's the first nine tracks. We heard two of them already. And, you know, getting into the next setup. It makes you wonder what can be expected. You know, what is he really going to do with this album? And here you have the second ladder of the tracks. You know, one feature, Jesse Bogans, the third, Laura Willen, City of Stars, Stainless, featuring Drea, my bad, Babel, Paradise, Never Been, Run It, Lucidity, Lucidity, The Incredible True Story. You know, in 18 tracks, man, I think it's going to be a great record, you know, I don't really know what to expect, but I'm hoping that it circles around. It's like a soundtrack to, you know, the basically the movie that he got dropping. You know, and I, I think this is pretty dope, you know, as far as him not having that many features. The features that he do have definitely feel like they fit. And we just going to have to see, man. We like a couple weeks away from the album release, you know, I already paid for two of the records already i didn't pre-order the album because i'm gonna go buy it um i'm definitely waiting to see what he gonna do with this project man we already know it's gonna leak so i i'm not gonna listen to the leak version of it i'm gonna wait until it drop and buy it you know seeing how i have apple music that means midnight when it drop i'll be able to listen to it before i go pick it up and yeah man just want to sit with it i'm not gonna review it until probably a week or two you know, because that music like that, you just want to sit with and get everything from it that you need to get from it before you actually go ahead and just talk about it. Because you're going to have people that's going to jump out the window and review it within the first couple of days. And it ain't no way in hell that you're going to get every detail with Logic. You know, if you really follow his career, you know, and the way he's promoting this album is crazy so you know it just ain't something you're gonna get off the bat like that you know what i mean so me personally i can't wait to see what this project sound like and i'm actually glad that he decided to come back you know right after his debut album instead of making us wait a year or two which he did say that you know he wasn't gonna make us wait he was gonna get right back in the lab and you know deliver something different but I'm still hoping on the fence, like, it's not nothing too left to where it kind of move fans away from him. Like, okay, what the fuck was that? Because you still got fans that's 50-50 on him. You know, some people say that his debut album, Under Pressure, was underwhelming. It wasn't all that. I personally don't think that. I personally think it was dope. Some people say Welcome to Forever should have been his debut album. And it's better than, you know, Under Pressure. But you just never know, you know. Um, even the recent things, you know, not to switch subjects but even with Kendrick he's been like going to certain shows and people have been dipping out when it's time for him to perform you know all that conscious rap like I said about the music you don't look past you know the first day and the release date of the music you gotta look you know towards the future as far as you know presenting it and you know performing and everything now granted you did put him on a, a roster with trap artists and everything like that. But you think of shit like that, like, damn, he's a platinum artist. You know, he's doing his numbers and everything. He's doing something great for hip-hop. Why are people not in tune to his music? And it made me wonder, like, well, what if that was Logic instead of Kendrick? Would people really walk out, you know, on, you know, his performance, his set, you know? But a lot of people say that that's not a Kendrick crowd, you know, it was basically a trap crowd, a turn-up crowd, and things of that nature, but, it, you know, it make you wonder what these artists that's, you know, lyrical, but yet still trying to maintain some form of balance by not conforming to commercial, you know, appeal as far as records and radio singles and things like that, because, honestly, this album is a little different. You can tell from the album cover from, you know, the sci-fi anime vibe of it, you know, he basically wanted to be himself on this, he got influenced by a lot of things, and if you even look at the, um, he got a, um, video of the making of the song, if you see the genius in that, it's like he orchestrating 
the music the way he wants it, the way he hear it in his head, and I thought that was pretty fucking ill. And I'm like, damn, if he did this for this song and just showing us this, man, what did he do for the whole album? So it it just really has me amped. And I definitely want to know the name of the song that's featured in the trailer for the album because I think that record is going to be dope as hell. I think either it's going it's probably the self-titled track or it can be um the last track on, you know, the first um, page I showed you with the track was track nine, I think. It's one of them. I'm the greatest or it's the incredible story. It's one of them. But that song right there, I know that's going to be fire, though. But that's a track list, man. We're getting a lot of records. You know, um, his last album, the standard version, was just 12 songs. And every one of them songs sequenced well and was on point And you didn't have to skip a track. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same vibe with this album. You know, because sometimes you get a, a album where it's more than, let's say, 12 songs. And it's like 15 or 16. Some of them are filler. Some of them are hard to get through. But you never know. I don't think you're really going to let us down with this project. You know, I'm a fan of Logic since, you know, the mixtape days. You dig? So anything he puts out, I'm appreciative of. And I know he put hard work into it. And he still got a lot of you know, stigma, because a lot of people look at him as just, oh, he's just another born white rapper, which he's not white, he's mixed, you know, and it's just a lot of things that people just still don't be convinced about um, his lyrical skills and him as a rapper. People don't really take him serious. And I even read, I think on Twitter, the song Nicki was underwhelming. It was basically whack and lame for a concept song. I think that was one of the dopest fucking songs ever. You know, not out of every song I've ever heard before. Metaphor, concept song, that was incredible. Because if he would have wrote it differently, you wouldn't have known what the fuck he was talking about. Because he could have wrote it in a way where he was talking about a female. But the more words he put in there, you kind of figured at the end, it's like, okay, what is he getting at? And then he just tell you, basically he was talking about a cigarette, nicotine. So I definitely think that was dope. I don't care what nobody say, because when I listened to it for the first time, I was like, where is he going with this? Because I thought it was about a chick. But then at the end of the day, it was like, oh, a cigarette, incredible. Just the thought process to write some shit like that about a cigarette. You know what I mean? Because a lot of motherfuckers smoke cigarettes, and a lot of people don't. And me being a person that smokes cigarettes or whatever, I thought that was very intriguing. You dig? So... Hey, that's just me. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the track list. Will y'all be buying this album? I'm gone.